Show. This is Rack Noble here for Boxing UK. I am here with April Hunter, ready to do it all over again. How are you feeling, April? Feeling good, mate. Just ready to uh, ready get there on Saturday night. This, this, all this media stuff. On. You wish you could just bypass all this and get to the ring, but I'm um, looking forward to it. Ready. Use the time we've had to prepare wisely and um, ready to show the best April Hunter Saturday night. Don't need doing the press conferences one time over is a big deal and it's a lot of effort for the boxers, it's strange, you just want to get in there. You're having to do it all over again. How's it feel being almost asked the same questions, seeing the same faces, going for the same routine as for the second time? I think actually we're quite lucky, I'm sure that tomorrow the press conference is just for the main event, so I don't think tomorrow we have to do it. I don't know if I'm being 100% right, but that's just what I heard, so uh, yeah, I don't think we we'll have to do it again tomorrow. I think it's just the main event, so we'll get the media all done today and then it's all focused on Saturday. So of course you've had a month out from the last time you was meant to fight on this card. How have you kept yourself up to the challenge? How have you kept yourself motivated? How did you bounce back and get yourself back into the gym when you heard the deflating news that the fight won't be going ahead? Well, we just had a we took a week off and then we had a week ta like taking it back off and then we had two weeks more to bore and then a week taper. So it, uh, we're, we're professionals. This is our job. This is what we do. So I feel, I feel if you can't stay disciplined and keep yourself up for this, then you're in the wrong job. So. Uh, I just want to get in there Saturday night and do a job. I must say that's a very good answer. We're professionals, we do this, it's a job. You pick yourself up, you go again. Yeah. Do you feel with this extra time it's given you more time to prepare? Do you feel that you're a better version of what you was potentially last month? I feel like any extra time you get with Peter Fury is your coach. You can be nothing but beneficial. So yeah, I think I think it's benefited me a lot. So of course, last time out, there's words between Savannah and Carissa. Do you feel the tensions die down a bit or do you feel it's just going to be as much of an energetic, fast paced fight as it's going to get last month? No, I think they both don't like each other uh, and I think the beef is real. Any chances the day after the fight you're not having breakfast together at the Continental Hotel and toasting over a cup of beer or tea? Not a chance, mate. Not a chance. No, definitely not. <laughs> There's no chance of being friends? No, no, definitely not. And lastly, we're currently in October. When do you see yourself out being next? Um, I spoke to Pete after this and we'll be looking for, a, for a, a big step up after this fight so we'll just see what's happening and probably be looking to be next year now. There are various girls around your way, of course Terry Harper, Natasha Jonas, Hannah Rankin, even in America they like to summon in. There's quite a lot of girls and a lot of competition so any of them in particular looking to get in the ring with or step forward to? I'm not to say something there but you'll see Saturday night uh, which one of them I'll be calling out for my next one so let's see. One of four names. One I'm, four names, I'm right. gonna numb that one down. <laughs> anyway, April, thank you for your time and uh, all the best for Saturday night. No worries, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks.